Hello again, and welcome to this RPG Maker VXA's tutorial. I am Murti, and I'm going to guide you through this series of tutorials dealing with the RPG Maker VXA's program. In this video, we are going to start making events, which will create some action in the game. In this tutorial, we are going to create a teleport that will teleport the player from the world map. I've created a small world map here and into a small village, which I have called Tutorial Village. In order to create new maps, you simply right-click in the tree and create new map. If you want to make a child map to uh, another existing map, you can simply create a new map by right-clicking the map and create new map. This will create a child map to your original map. This is useful if you want to make interiors to these buildings, for instance. It's also a very good idea to keep things organized. In order to create the teleport, we have to start making events. In order to make an event, or manipulate existing events, we have to make sure that the event editing mode is enabled. To do this, simply check that this button here is selected. If this button is selected or this button, you are either in map editing mode or in region mode. This means that you cannot create or manipulate events. So make sure that event editing mode is selected. To create events, you will have to work with a grid. You can only have one event on either of these uh, grid squares. To create events, right-click a square and select New Event. This will open the event editing box. Here, you can create actions that will occur once the event is activated. In order to activate the event, the player will have to use the action button on the event. I can change this by selecting this drop-down menu and selecting player touch, for instance. For a teleport, this is very convenient. It means that the player will not have to press the action button in order to teleport from the world map into our village. Make sure that by creating a teleport, you have the priority by uh, below characters. If this is on the same as characters level, it means that the event is solid and the player cannot pass through it. This is useful for characters, but not for teleports. I can make a graphic for my event if I want to, by selecting actors of different kinds. I can make NPCs to my world. Since I am making a teleport, I do not want a graphic for my event, so I'll leave this blank. Now I want to start using the different actions that are available in RPG Maker VXAs. To create a new action, right-click and select Insert. This will open the event commands list. These are all the different actions that are available in RPG Maker VXAs. To make a teleport, I want to select Transfer Player. Now the program wants to know where the player is supposed to be teleported. By pressing this box or pressing this button here, I can select a new destination for my player. Since I do not want the player to teleport within the same map, which is possible, but not convenient for this purpose. I want to select my new map, Tutorial Village. Now I want to select where my player is supposed to end up when he starts teleporting from the world map. I want the player to appear by the village gate. I press OK to confirm my selection. I want the player to be facing upwards when he enters the town. So I select up in the direction 
pull down list. If I want a different fading effect than the default one, I select it from this pull down list. The normal fading is fade to black. I press OK to confirm my changes. And I have now created a new event in the world. To edit the event, I simply right click or double click and select edit event. Now the player will be able to teleport to this village but he will not be able to exit the village and return to the world map. In order to do this, I will have to create a new teleport event. I want to create this by the village exit. Right click and make a new event. The same procedure occurs This time I want the player to appear on the world map, on the road in front of the village. I want the player to be facing down when he exits the village. At this point the player will only be able to exit the village when he enters this square. If he exits here or through any of the other exits of the town, he will not be able to teleport. I will have to copy this event and paste it on every possible exit location. Now the player will be able to teleport back and forth to this village. Let's see if this works out. So here we are in the game and we're going to test out our teleport. If I enter the event that I created on top of the village, I will automatically be teleported inside the village. If I return, I return to the world map. I can also use any of the other exits that I created. So that is how you make a simple teleport using events in RPG Maker VX Ace. I am Murti and I hope I see you next time in the next RPG Maker VX Ace tutorial.